I just got to one of my favorite roads and uh, yeah, I thought, why not? We'll test ride the bike. We'll ride the bike for the first time. Have to obviously run it in. So we've got to keep it under 6,000 RPM. But obviously at a certain stretch, we will push it a little bit more, try and reach like a higher RPM range as well. But before we get started, guys, I do want to thank Yule's Manchester Triumph because they've looked after me with this fantastic deal on the Daytona 660, which is now um, a banging deal, even if you don't have the cash up front to buy it, um, which is already dead cheap to buy compared to its competition, but obviously have a much more comfortable seating position. We'll touch on that a little bit more later on. Uh, so definitely go check them out. And as I was saying, not only if you've got the cash, but it's a fantastic 2.9% uh, APR offer on finance. So what's not to like about this uh, this Daytona 660? Well, don't worry about it. I will be 100% honest with you because as I said, I just bought the bike. That's the best review you're gonna get is from an, it's, it's an owner perspective review. I'm gonna be covering pretty much everything from seat and position to comfort level to its performance, suspension, handling, that kind of thing. But let's get started by talking about the seat position and comfort level. I am six foot tall and I find this bike really, really comfortable. The handlebar position is pretty much like a naked bike. Uh, yeah, you are leaned over just slightly though, just slightly. It actually encourages you to have a bit more of an engaged riding position. The foot peg position is sportier than you might think but it's not at all like super sport level so don't get confused it's not other than that the uh, little windshield here is okay if you tuck in all the way it works but if you're just sitting back yeah there's quite a bit of buffeting coming out wind buffeting coming out here at the front whereas the mirrors are actually pretty decent in terms of like how they look they are not very functional. I've got to be honest with you. I can barely see what's behind me. They're not very good, no matter how I place them, where I place them. I just don't seem to find the right spot. Having said that, it is quite annoying. I'm six foot tall, right? And uh, my shoe size is an 11 in the UK or a 12 in the US. And uh, they touch, they touch the rear foot pegs. Here, I can touch the rear foot pegs and it's very annoying. So I'm going to definitely get rid of those uh, passenger pegs because you can just do that. And that's actually quite clever, cleverly done by Triumph without having to buy any additional like bracket or something. Yeah, other than that, this is a very happy place, very comfortable. Handling wise, it, it, it's very neutral, although this has been equipped with a big piston show of forks um, and suspension, obviously, at the back. The rear shock is the only suspension component that can't be adjusted and it's only for preload so the thing is that out of the factory it's very soft so i had to actually tighten it up quite a bit i've clicked it in six times uh, and i am 74 kilos let's say 76 with a everything on maybe 78 with everything on all the gear and stuff now that i've changed that it has completely changed its behavior on the street you know and it's still comfortable enough uh, to be fair but it's just offers a lot more precision now that we have crossed that bridge and talked about its suspension which is non-adjustable here at the front let's uh, ride it a little bit more spirited and uh, i'll give you my feedback in a minute Friday today to test out this Triumph Daytona 660. You know what? <laughs> I gotta be honest with you. Initially, I didn't really like the feel of these tires. Those are Michelin Power 6s, but uh, I didn't like them. But now, I totally changed my mind. Get up to silly speeds with this engine. 
The 660 triple engine is a thing of beauty. The power comes through so beautifully at the top end. Uh, obviously, we're going to take it slow now. We need to run it in properly, don't we? But it's good to crank it up to over 6,000 RPM any now and then to really open the engine up to make sure you can get the best out of its performance. Uh, as long as the engine is warm enough, the oil is warm enough, it's safe to do so. And obviously, don't just uh, keep it pinned at a higher RPM range. You know, just work the engine through out its whole range and that's the best way you can you can really run run a bike in and that's how i've been doing it thanks to uh cal at bsp uk that has shared his knowledge with me gold that guy is absolute gold it's that triple engine isn't it i love that i love that character that a triple engine's got and uh you know brand new tires brand new brakes so i couldn't really i'm not really pushing it that crazy much just how tip it just tips in really really easily beautiful absolutely beautiful 95 horsepower and 69 newtons of torque so triumph actually claims that you can use 80 percent of that at just about 3000 rpm which is great it's exactly what you want and that's what i'm talking about with the triple engine and its attitude it's one of a kind, isn't it? Especially coming from Triumph. Oh, yeah. Oh, what a nice bike. I mean, no, don't get me wrong. This is no Daytona, okay? What I mean is, is it's no Daytona 765. It's a comfortable Daytona that's got plenty of power. It's got plenty of power. Kind of feels like a street trip. Well, you can tell it's not clearly obviously but it kind of does it kind of does so yeah pretty much at a par with the aprilia rs660 in terms of performance and wears it's it may not be at a par with obviously the yamaha r7 this has got you can you can tell it's got a lot more power than the r7 and it's got a bit more top end than the suzuki just x8r uh, although it's got a little bit more torque than this so it's just about what you prefer i suppose if you want something a bit more torquey and a naked feel, then I guess the Suzuki is, is the better option for you. And the same position is pretty much the same. What a bike this is going to be right next to my Super Duke 1390R Evo. Well, I suppose now that I've told you all this, you can get uh, an idea of what it's like to be riding this bike. There's no compromise, really. Especially, you know, after you've had a little play around with the preload it's a very nimble bike weighs 200 kilos wet which is more than what you would expect but it's not just about that though it feels at least 20 kilos lighter than than, than 200 i don't mind it being 200 kilos and it, it really is an agile bike to put quick shift on it but let's talk about these brakes a little bit because they do feel very very powerful to begin with but then there isn't really much progression at the lever um, so there are the uh, j1 brakes triumph branded radially mounted caliper at the front 310 millimeter twin disc but they bite really well i mean just let's just look at here oh yeah it's just at a certain point, there isn't much progression to it. I mean, obviously, let's remind ourselves as well. That, ooh, ooh, shit, Alex, what happened? Shit. You all right? Are you okay? Okay. All right, so the kid is all right. He's, there's no damage to the bike, no, no real damage. You can actually ride it back home. Just to wrap this video up, I was just talking about its weight distribution. I think it's phenomenal. The price is phenomenal now, thanks to all of the offers that Triumph uh, UK put out. What else? Well, you can expect a uh, full in-depth 
review of this bike later on as well as maybe look into some uh, uh, accessories that we can put on the bike like a uh, slip on exhaust perhaps to make it uh, perhaps sound better perform better as well we're gonna put it on the dyno with the guys here at BHP UK and see how much power it makes the stock form and uh, maybe after some hardware modifications but what do you guys think about it let me know in the comments below if you've enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel to watch more videos like this and I will catch you in the next one